Hello, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. It's time for Tower Scopes. We're going to be doing the Tower Scopes for the sign of Scorpio. That's Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising for the month of December 2024. Well, we made it to December, didn't we? Wow, what a year it has been. What a decade it has been. What uh, since 1999 has it been for those of you old enough to remember back that far? Uh, yeah, we we have seen a lot, a lot of changes, uh, a lot of uh, things we never expected to see or hear. Um, and we are on, um, not quite on the other side of it, but things are moving and changing. Your ruling planet, um, Pluto, is now in um, strictly, strictly in... Um, in Aquarius now and will be for about 20 years. So that's going to be your, uh, the leading energy, uh, the planet of electricity. And, uh, but you also have Mars. Mars is a co-ruler in your sign. And this month, Mars has, um, is in Leo, uh, but does go retrograde on the 6th. So um, retrograde Mars whatever sign it's in uh when it's retrograde it points to the opposite sign and so in leo it's pointing to aquarius right and so there's a certain amount of energy for you where uh it's not about taking things personally but looking at things from a more sort of collective place so which you're going to get very good at because you're ruling planets in aquarius for oh i don't know 20 years all right so I'm using the Astro Matrix deck. Now I actually started this reading a little a little while ago and I was using the Crow Tarot and I picked like three cards and then the, the deck just like flew out of my hands, off my lap, onto the floor. It was a big disaster. And so I thought to myself, well, maybe, maybe the Crow Tarot isn't the right tarot for this, for this reading. So we're using the Astro Matrix deck. And let's see what we have here. So we have the Queen of Cups. We start with the Queen of Cups. This is actually um, in the system I use, the Kabbalistic system I use. This is associated with the sign of Scorpio. All the queens in the tarot are the sustainers of their elements. And the sustainers are always the fixed signs. And you know you're a fixed sign. I don't know if you know that. But now you do. You are a fixed water. It's a psychic queen. Um, a lot of times, now in this deck, she's looking into the cup. But... Uh, the cup is open. Many decks, the cup is closed. And that's indicative of the fact that she can see what other people can't see. And that's you. You can see people, you can see what other people see. You have your fingers on the pulse of what people are feeling right now. Okay. Let's see the crossing card. So we have the Knight of Wands. This is, um, I want to say this is, you know what you know, and what you're seeing in the outer world is people running around telling or, or what they believe, what they believe, what they believe, their ideas, their opinions, their, their, um, um, their points of view. And it's, it's very inspired, but the problem with fire is that it can it it it's like it's so self it's like self-fulfilling in its way and so while oftentimes there's a lot of really good ideas that come through the energy of fire certainly our creative uh, our creative spark comes through that um but it's not always connected to the feelings and the emotions so I think the challenge here is for you to, when you hear somebody say something or or the like, to feel it out, to feel it out. Are they just like proclaiming what they want to see and they're saying that's what it is, right? You have to sort of feel your way through uh, this month. In the uh, in at the, at the bottom of the reading, at the uh, beneath. What lies beneath is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving, practical, pragmatic energy. Uh, now this, in this deck, it's actually 
going towards the city, right? So there's this sense of this is what I have harvested. This is what I have. This is what I have to offer. And I'm taking it to the people. So that's sort of underneath it all here. Let's see. In the past, we have the queen of pentacles. So you've been working on your values. You've been working on what's important to you. The queens are all about the sustainers. And so we have the sustainer of earth or the sustainer of resources. And so I think you're actually in a pretty good place. I think you've been working really hard um, to develop whatever this is. This is also a card of a lot of fertility. You see that little bunny down there? That's always a sign of fertility. Also a sign of uh, the other side, right? The mystical side. So um, that is also connected to you, right? You're very mystical. In the sky, we have the five of cups. So there is some, uh, now I read the sky card as either the environment that's outside of us that, you know, we look out the window and we see, we see other people experiencing things, right? So it's sort of outside of us, but it can also be a suggestion from spirit and I'll read them both ways. So we see a lot of people suffering and the suggestion is that and this is actually a Scorpio card. This this is a Mars Scorpio card. Um, the suggestion is that um, there will be losses, and that um, you 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 know people aren't going to get everything they want. That could also be you. Um, but what you do have, you have to move forward with, right? You you turn around, you do what you need to do, and then you cross the bridge and you go back into the world with the cups that are still full. So while it's not a pleasant experience, it's not it's not the end of the road. It's actually the beginning of a new road. In the immediate future, we have death, which is your card, Scorpio. See the Scorpio there? Uh, this is transformation and change. So we have change. So things will really be changing for you this month. In fact, this immediate future card is usually the card for the month because we're only looking a month ahead. And so we have a lot of change a lot of letting go, a lot of letting go, and a lot of, uh, and, and it's death, but it's rebirth, right? As you know, Scorpio. How it's seen from the outside, um, the, a new project, a new opportunity. So I feel like um, people are seeing the change in you and and they see it as a, an opportunity for you. Your domestic situation, the three of pentacles, this is finding people who are as good at things as you are and working with them. This is finding work that's not only um, fulfilling, but feels like purposeful, like it's your purpose and you'll be working with others and that'll be happening in your home. Now, for some of you, it could be that you're working with a designer and a, um, uh, a general contractor because you're redoing your home, right? Change this this change in the immediate future can be renovation, right? Ren renovating something. And perhaps that's what, that's kind of what uh, some of this is about for you. All right, uh, hopes and fears. Um, the three of cups, this is like celebration, happiness, friendship. Do you trust that? You know, sometimes when good things happen, because it's been such a long time since good things have happened, you don't really trust that. Am I imagining this is really happening? Well, you know, we'll see. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, at the end, we have the chariot. This is the this is the card of the the outcome card. This is also a major arcana. So you have a major arcana in the immediate future. You have a major arcana in the, at the end of the of the thing. This is the big change. This is the big change. You are on your way, Scorpio. And I know, you know, I do these every month. And a lot of times Scorpio cards are really, really challenging. And I'm trying to remember from last month, because I don't remember anything I do from month to month. So you'll have to apologize but I don't think last month was that bad. But the previous months, I think, were kind of kind of um, challenging, as we'll call it. But I feel like now you're really on the move. And this could also be moving. This could also be moving. Um, so you can consider that. All right, let's see what's underneath it. Okay. 
a uh, balancing of the scales. Uh, if you're somebody who has more than others, you will be you will be helping others. If you need more, they'll be helping you, right? So it's it's a balancing. It's it's fair distribution of re resources. Which now I have not. I'm doing this before the election, so I'm not sure who won yet. Although I know who who I think is winning, Kamala, just so you know. And so there's new opportunities coming because she's going to be in charge okay um the ace of swords which is the ace of truth truth and justice taking an action oh, and the ace of pentacles so there are four aces in the deck you have gotten uh three of them in your reading so really this is a time of letting go of death change and new beginnings, new beginnings. It's been a hard road. This is all of us. We have lost a lot, but if we lost it, we didn't need it anymore. That's the lesson. And what we do have left, two full cups there, even Steven, right? Let's move forward. Let's move forward into the future confidently. And it seems quickly. All right. Awesome. So I also have been pulling a, um, an Oracle card and I've been using the tree of life Oracle. So let me pull one of those for you. That was much better than the crow deck that practically flew away in the middle of my first attempt to read on Scorpio. Yeah, the cards know who they want to talk to, I guess. All right. So this is the Tree of Life Oracle. It's a great little oracle. It's got some really good information. This is the little book that comes with it. And the author is David Wells. David Wells. And the art is fantastic. Yeah, see, it's the same picture that I showed you. This is what it looks like. All right. What does the tree of life have to say for Scorpio? Scorpio, okay, those aren't quite right yet. Actually, I'm doing this on Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. All of Hallows Eve. A few days before the election. Goodness gracious. All of this has brought us here. What a ride it's been. The soul triangle, mystical soul-led harmony. Soul triangle. So on the tree of life, the soul triangle is, I know it's hard to see these cards. The light here is not the, the greatest. I'll have to figure out a way to make this better for you. But it's it's Gabura. Acid and to breath. Okay. And energetically it'd be throat and heart. Throat and heart. So um the soul triangle. Let's see what it says about that for you, Scorpio. And of course, your ruling planet, Pluto, is symbolic of the soul in a chart. So um you uh you are soulful for sure. The triangle between Gabura, Hesed, and Tipareth, might, mercy, and harmony, combining these forces to find a way through, may not always be easy, but will produce soul growth. As the soul grows, the seas calm, and the problems are handled with ease. Ask spirit, what do I need to know, spirit? What? Where do I need to go, spirit? What do I need to say, spirit? Right? says the middle triangle truly embraces the principle of the soul, the understanding, the power, and the mercy of the soul. Says you're in the worlds of mystical connections here, the worlds of the lords of karma, the lords of peace, and the higher guardian angel. These forces are per 
presenting you with a choice, a way forward that is soul led. It may not be easy, but you know what must be done. All right. Well, you know what must be done. So do it. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, it's been a real crazy year. Thank you for hanging with me all these years. Uh, and this year in particular. Um, so uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I do have a membership now uh, coming up on this channel at the beginning of the year. Uh, so you can uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. It will be a little bit more um, intense work with the astrology and the tree of life. Um, and, uh, you know, things I can, things I feel like I can't just say, um, you know, without the membership, because, you know, they're, they're being real careful about what's being said. So it is the way and, uh, probably not a bad thing, but it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt for the, for the, uh, people who are of integrity, who are trying to say stuff. Um, but that's the way it is, right? All right, guys, take care. Have a wonderful end of the year, and I'll see you again in 2025. Much love. Namaste.